<coughs> it's a main frame, I think I am. <coughs> it's all guesswork here. <coughs> well, I made it to the countryside today, as I hoped I would. Um, looked out the window this morning and the weather seemed fair, it's sort of cloudy, but uh, no signs of any rain anyway, nothing to worry about. Um, I'm, I'm already fairly close to Wistow. I've just come through New, New, Newton Harcourt. I can't speak yet, I can't speak. It's sort of, uh, uh, take two. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm close to Wistow. I've just walked through Newton Harcourt. And I'm just putting my feet up for the time being, just have a rest before heading on. Uh, so it's been a week since uh, I last came out. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> right. Um, I'll start again. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. <laughs> A lady, a lady walked past walking her dogs and uh, so it distracted me. Now what was I saying? Um, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a week. It was, uh, it's, it's Tuesday today. It was last Tuesday when I ventured out here um, uh, a week ago. <laughs> oh dear, I'm still brain dead. It's all that, it's all that wind on uh, Friday, I think. Yeah, I came over here on Friday, didn't I? I walked up this road. I went to Great Glen on Friday, awfully windy day, so this is the first time since then I've, I've come out to the countryside, so, and it's getting warmer as I go along, I've just, I've just took my jacket off already, so, so I'll press on to Wistow, I think, um, I'm, in fact, this isn't really a mission to film anything in particular, this is just uh, purely for the exercise and getting out in the fresh air, that's all this is about. But I'll see what interesting things I could film along the way. Probably some ducks, a cow, maybe a sheep or two, you know, and see what, uh, maybe a horse, who knows. Or even a train. You know, anything can happen. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have another biscuit snack and I'll press on. See you in a bit. Well, that takes care of the train. <laughs> That's one off my list. I may as well walk over the fields. So climb over here. That's it. A few people out today. I see it, there's a few people out today. Sheep in abundance. Hmm. They're making a racket. <laughs> How did he get there? He's on the wrong side of the fence. He needs to go straight, straight ahead and he can get out. Stranded there, doesn't know how to get out. 
The opening's just there. Just there, look. I think he's realised. There you go, here's the other one calling him. <laughs> There's his rescuer. <laughs> well, this is out all right. Streams here, you see, so we couldn't. Uh, we would have had a bit of difficulty getting across the stream or whatever. Absolutely loads of people out here today, loads of dog walkers. At least they're having fun. I'm going to head over to it. I'll just hear something. He's swearing now. Who's that walking into my shot swearing his head off? <laughs> oh, yeah. What are you lot doing on the side of the road? <laughs> How am I supposed to get past? Don't go on the road. Stay on the path. get themselves killed here, there's loads of traffic. They're not bothered about the traffic, are they? <laughs> Come on then, waddle off. Waddle off, will ya? <laughs> well... I'll take a walk up the garden centre. Garden centre, I mean the rural centre. Even out here people are distancing, crossing over the roads and that. I wonder if they'll do the Wistow Maze this year. That normally takes place just there in that field. So there's a cabin there. This is where the uh, famous Wistow maze takes place. The crops aren't uh, hardly any, any growth on them yet. I can't see them doing it this year to be honest. There's the centre, Bristow Rural Centre. I can never say that, I'm sorry about this, I can never get my R's right. Rural, Rural, Bristow Rural Centre. Near enough. Well, hang on. Well, it's been a week, as I say, since I last came over here. It was last Tuesday. And uh, I'm just going to see what... Uh, What a difference you know, a few days makes. Amazing isn't it? The traffic is unbelievable. <laughs> Never ceases to amaze me. Let's see what's open this time. I'll see what they're doing.
Yeah, but uh, you're using the uh, tree trunks here to make uh, the rope barriers. So uh, I've cut the rope in the cafe tree. I don't know if you heard any of that. We're making those uh, like barriers, not barriers, so guiding, guiding things with the, with the ropes for when you're queuing up. So we're making the basis for those. So it looks like the cafe will be opening soon. Anyway, the little grocery shop's already open, as I said last week. It's good to see that. Well, I thought I'd take a look inside the garden centre this time. Well, I've just realised this is all like a new extension. This wasn't here a few years ago. Yeah, they've extended it. Oh, even oh God. even further, even outside, there's another another growing house out there. That's a member of staff moving a trolley around. This place is vast now. It's a lot bigger than it used to be. Very impressive though. Let's take a look outside again. I like that. Whenever I see an archway, I always want to walk through it to see what's beyond. Oh, I like these. Like a slate look. <laughs> Rusted one. Rusty colour ones as well. They look good. Yeah, I like stuff like that. Ah. One can never have too many benches. Oh, 
<laughs> these, are, these are about the largest pots I've seen. I don't think they'd fit on my windowsill. What are these things? Oh, now the statues. VWs. <laughs> on a sheep. A very, a very quick look at the uh, model village because I already filmed this last week. I don't want to, don't want to cover it all over again. So what I've just realised is that uh, I didn't need a trolley this time. Last week we had to have trolleys for help with keeping distance. Uh, but the lady says, no, no, you're okay, you can walk in without a trolley, if you're not buying, that's okay. So great, so no more crashing into things. I do like this though, I wish I lived nearer, I'd, I'd volunteer to restore the thing. I've just come out the, uh, I've just come out just in time, the sun's, sun's shining again. It disappeared for a while. Dropped a tree on his foot. <laughs> what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Quick look around here. Palm trees. Good. Nice. I'll uh, oh, press on. Let's we'll have, we'll have a look at these. I'll go and sit down on the field over there and uh, have a few more biscuits. Oh, there's a cow. Thing is, I was going to sit just there. Yeah, it's near my favourite spot. I'll have to go sit over here. And I'll sit on one of these big logs. <laughs> Oh god, back's hurting a bit. So one of these logs for a bit. Oh, no, so swans are here today. So, are we 
you mean weird animals? Yeah, what animals were we? <laughs> Well, it makes a change to see both of these ones. Like the only ones I think they're called signets, am I right? Signets. The baby swans. Mm -hmm. Right, I'll have a quick look at this church. Oh, it took all my strength to close that gate. Ah. Nice old building. Oh, there's a bench over there. Yes. <laughs> I'm sit over there. I'm trying to go and spot a bench. Yeah, so uh, I'll have a few minutes here and uh, go back the way I came, more or less, really. I think it's about an hour's walking to Obi from here but that'll take me longer because they always keep stopping and I'll sit down and it's not like I'm racing along so anyway I found a nice spot to sit <laughs> I'm getting obsessed with these old benches every time I see a bench I just oh no, I've got to sit down, got to sit down on it <laughs> yeah so It's quite a day, a lot of people about. So, rural centre's doing well. I think it's vast, it's expanded since I, I came some years ago. But it's all looking good. Well, enough rabbiting, I'm going to start heading off soon. Just have a few more biscuits and a swig of pop. Have another look at this church again. I can't remember what it's called. Oh. Right, as I was saying before I got interrupted by the rather noisy family passing by. Just have a look at this church from this angle. Now I've forgotten what it's called again. Obviously it's Wistow Church or something. It has a name. I'll have to put it i I'll put a caption on when I when I edit. So yes, I suppose I ought to start walking, but uh, just have a few minutes here I think, first. Steady walk home. A train in the distance. I can't see it from here. Oh, plenty of sheep out today munching away. Hello, hello. And onto the canal. Oh, right. Yeah. There's a few dark clouds coming over from the horizon now, so so I'm going to make sure I don't waste too much time getting home. Just gradually move nearer. That's a bit of a contrast to Friday. And Friday was so blustery along here. Couldn't hear myself think. It's lovely and peaceful now. 
I could sit here all day. I mean, what I should do is come out earlier. You know, I'll wait till after midday, then trundle over here, then look at the time and think, oh my God, it's nearly four o'clock. Oh. So <laughs> oh, well. At least the weather's held off. It's, uh, I mean, the rain's held off, I should say. The weather's been good today. So anyway, as I say, there was no particular mission today other than just to get a bit of exercise. I, I saw, I, let's have a look, what did I, what did I do? Um, I seen a cow, seen a sheep, a duck, a couple of swans. I didn't see a horse. Hmm, haven't seen a horse yet. Oh, strange. Hmm, okay, keep looking. So, <laughs> Oh, so if this is the final seat, let's just point it, point it at the countryside. There we go. Now I wish that was the I wish that were the view from my room. the train. Couldn't find any horses, but I've made up for it with trains. <laughs> <laughs> 